Almost 15 years ago to date, the township of Tokoza was plunged into a civil war as opposing political party supporters launched violent attacks in the lead-up to the elections in 1994. While many parts of the townships were no-go zones, four photographers who weren't afraid to go in were Greg Marinovich, Zhao Silva, Ken Osterbrook and Kevin Carter. The four became known as the Bang Bang Club. It was here that Osterbrook was killed in a crossfire on the 18th of April 1994. Marinovich was injured in the attack. This will undoubtedly be one of the most dramatic and emotional scenes in the film. So in order to capture the essence of this scene, Silva accompanied the actors to the location where he described in detail what happened on that day and the succeeding days leading up to the first democratic elections. The first day when Ken got killed, they were taking pot shots from the houses, but they weren't advancing. They were letting the NPKF do their thing. So they were watching. The NPKF was new, so they were also checking to see, what, let's see what these what, guys what can do. They, do yeah. well, they lost it one day. And that was it. That was it. One day come back and they got pretty much people off, off the streets. South African actor Frank Rotenbach, who will be playing Oesterbrook, says understanding a character like this one is an important aspect to consider, especially with a role like this. Preparation has been going great. Um, I've had a short space of time, but uh, again, it's just reading books, watching interviews, trying to gather as much information as possible. So uh, you take all of that and you translate it into a performance and hopefully you hit the model. Ryan Felipe will be playing Marinovich. He says while he's been researching the role for quite some time now, nothing compares to being in the place which holds so much significance in this story. It's going well, man. It's been pretty intense to learn sort of uh, the history in its entirety and how many different angles from which the conflict came. And um, we're standing right now in this very spot where the kind of Mr. Brook was shot and killed and where my character in the film, Greg Marinovich, was also shot. And, uh, you know, when you spend a lot of time getting ready to make a film, you read the book and to finally be in the place actually means quite a bit because you kind of... Uh, until you're actually there, it's all just a, in, your, in your imagination. So now to kind of see it and put it all together, it's, you know, it's a pretty big deal for me. And it's a great thing to have experience before I start making the film. You know? it's, a, it's a crucial part of the story. Getting into character is another aspect that the stars are taking notes of ahead of filming these scenes. Both Felipe and Rotenbach seem to be taking well to the photographic process. Just showed me that it's not the holiday photograph where you sort of focus like this. It's, it's right here. It's kind of this is your weapon, you know, and you, you're rolling with that. You're going to learn how to load film because remember it's not digital. So these guys would carry their pouches with their film and stuff and, um, you know, quick load, quick go. And a lot more sparing with their, with their pictures and stuff because you've got 36 in the film and if, you, and if you're at the end of your roll and some action starts erupting, you're losing it. Whereas with digital, you know, just keep going memory card, take another 10 million pictures of this. Uh, there's a lot more to it, you know, there's a bit of, a bit of an art to be a combat photographer. So those are the little, little questions we've been trying to answer. I can see you've been practicing as well with the camera there. Um, how's your photography skills coming on? You know, they're, they're pretty good. When I first started two months ago, it was hit and miss, but, and I was taking a lot of pictures of my kids. And, uh, the last week or so before I came, I was having I was shooting roles where maybe like only one or two were not very good and so I'm pretty proud of the progression I've made. I've still got some way to go but I think I have a good enough understanding of it to play the part so that's, that's the most important thing. Filming of the South African story The Bang Bang Club begins this week. Stay tuned to The Times Online as we bring you more exclusive coverage from the making of The Bang Bang Club.